it's, it's ghastly, isn't it? You sit down and read that report and it generates a whole series of emotions. It generates a, the anger, frustration, embarrassment. Um, it generates some pride as well, which may sound odd, but it's our men and women who care about the policing of London who've given most of the evidence for that report to Louise Casey, which is a testament to their commitment. Um, but most of all, it generates resolve. I've been really clear in my six months of commissioner about probably more outspoken than anybody else in the, history, in the sort of last few decades of policing about the need for reform. And my resolve and our collective resolve will only get stronger. The other thing I should say, though, is I need to reaffirm my apology to Londoners. Um, we've let Londoners down and we've let our own front line down. And this report paints that vividly. And as I've said several times, I'm deeply sorry for that. What do you say? This report, the diagnosis is that um, I agree with it. It's not simply the ghastly fact that we have racists, misogynists and homophobes in the organisation. But actually, it's also about we've got systemic failings, management failings, cultural failings, which has given them more licence to operate than we ought. I'm absolutely determined that on my watch, and I know the vast majority of my colleagues support this, that we will become a properly anti-discrimination organisation that's truly anti-racism, anti-misogyny and anti-homophobia. And the fact that we're not is deeply frustrating. And as I say, I apologise to those who've suffered as a consequence. Do you accept? I accept her diagnosis about the racism, misogyny and homophobia in the organisation. And also that we have these systemic failings, management failings, cultural failings. I understand her use of the term institutional. It's not a term I use myself. I'm a practical police officer. I have to use language that's unambiguous and is apolitical. And that term means lots of different things to different people and has become politicised in recent debates over the last decade or so. So you, don't, you, don't, accept, you don't accept it then? No, no, I, accept, accept, I, 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 I accept the diagnosis. The bullet points that she puts in her report, in her diagnosis, I fully accept them. And I commit that we will be anti-racist, anti-misogynist, anti-homophobic. We are determined to deal with these issues. Right. Are you sure that in your ranks there aren't other murderers, rapists, domestic abusers? We are doing everything we can do to reduce that risk. Clearly, the cases of Carrick and Cousins show um, failings, um, failings in policing in terms of how we vet and how we monitor the integrity of the organisation. London is a big, complex city. Um, it's not surprising it's got a big, complex organisation policing it. If we go into it, some messy, structural chopping up of a big organisation, uh, it won't help the policing of London. And I will also say it would actually slow down reform because all of that structural realignment it doesn't deal with the factors that she calls out, which are about the quality of service to victims, the way that frontline officers are supported and able to serve them, and the discrimination in the organisation. Uh, what did you think when you first read the report? Uh, it makes you sort of, uh, sort of, it's disturbing, it's upsetting, um, it's heartbreaking, and it's, it reflects some of the conversations I've had in the last six months as Commissioner. As I've met and spoken to some men and women who've had some awful experiences in the organisation. Some of those conversations have been heartbreaking and to be part of an organisation that has let individuals down so badly is deeply upsetting. And that's where part of my own motivation comes from because we have to right this wrong, we have to deal with these cultural problems and the vast majority of my colleagues are up for this. Aren't you ashamed and embarrassed to lead this type of force? I can't say I'm ashamed and embarrassed of the whole force. Um, we have so many good people, but the fact that we have these failings that has allowed a minority to have such a toxic effect because we haven't gripped them with our systems and leadership, that is in itself embarrassing and shaming. But I'm massively proud of the majority of my people and I know we can tackle this.